All right, well, here it is. So I have a OEM RSX radiator installed with the OEM RSX driver and passenger side fan because I'm keeping the AC air conditioning in this car. Um, the, two, the two bottom brackets line up so you don't have to do any cutting or welding. This bracket is just slightly tilted, but depending, um, you should be able to get that to fit. And here, two holes and a tap for a, um, a thread to thread in the 10 millimeter. And It's a pretty tight fit, but I was able to get it to work. So the only reason why I'm using the OEM RSX radiator, because I've done the measurements on other different radiators that work for K series, even the B series. And this seems to be the one with the most accurate measurements. So I am gonna go with the OEM RSX radiator. Okay, I just wanted to mention my radiator isn't sitting quite flush. It was sitting flush up until I installed the hybrid racing AC lines. As you can see, that the AC line is pressed against the condenser fan. And, uh, you know, again, I was just trying to see if I can get this to work. Um, it still fits, um, but it doesn't sit flush, which I would like it, would have liked it to sit flush. Um, but um, if you don't have AC, this thing will actually, you can probably get to sit right and without grinding, without taking down some of the, the support on the fan. So on the stock RSX fan, I could have bought the slim fan. That would be much easier, but I just, I mean, it'd probably be much easier to have the slim fan. I just want to try to go OEM as much as possible. But let me show you what I did here. You see how I took, took that down and this piece down. This piece you don't need as much. It, this one, I'm going to take it down just a little bit just because of that, because it hits that plug. But this is just enough to clear the alternator and the tool that I use is this angle grinder with this kind of head and it's like almost like a hardened scotch bright all right to get this RSX radiator in I will need to remove this AC line because it's going to make it easier because it hits the sensor because the way to ang the way we're going to get this radiator in is we have to angle it in so um so this is the line that i want to take out So this will help by removing this. And with this RSX radiator, the only way it's gonna work, um, and this is all new to me, is with my K24A2 motor, which is the TSX. This, off, this came off a 2004 TSX. 
uh, you can remove the manifold so the half manifold will come off. That's the first thing I would remove to, um, to figgle finesse this radiator in. And you got to be careful because you it is very tight, but um, I'm able to get this in. So the easiest way for me to feed the um, driver's side fan, and I'm going to feed it underneath the car. Okay, this bracket right here, as you can see, when you put it down, um, this lip is going to hit that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pair of pliers or needle nose and I'm going to bend that up so that way it will sit flush. Okay, there's the new location for the bracket. Okay, so this radiator that came out of a 2002 RSX to 2004 I am utilizing the uh, factory main fan and the AC fan and so on the Integra um, the eight condenser fan sits on this side and the main fan sits on that side for the B series but with the RSX the main fan sits on this side and normally um, the plug that plugs into tears for the condenser fan so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna swap we're gonna run this line to the fan over there which is the condenser fan and then we're gonna run the main fan plug and we're gonna run it to here on the main fan for this RSX uh, radiator with these wires you will have to splice and extend them so with this um, condenser fan I'm gonna take the negative and I'm gonna extend this blue wire for the condenser fan I'm gonna extend these two black wires uh, one solid black and one black with red stripe and uh, with the condenser plug I'm just gonna extend this one red wire here is the results with my OEM RSX radiator. Very tight fit, but um, yeah, I am just going for the OEM look. And um, here is the uh, main fan that will cool off the engine. Um, and again, just recapping, what I did was I uh, sw swapped the cable from that end because the primary on the B-Series was on this side. So you have to swap that cable to here. And the AC line stays the same. And down here here I have the this will be cleaned up but I was just doing it temporary just so I can get it running and then I will clean it up but there is the plug for the AC fan and there is the uh, ETC sensor um, on the factory RSX radiator.